Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to The Business Mix. I'm Chrissy, And I'm Rachel. And yes, welcome to The Business Mix show on Colourful Radio. Um, we are here joining you on your entrepreneurial journey and bringing you the best in all things business. How's your week been, Chris? Oh, it's been a mix. I like, I like to take this opportunity to kind of send condolences and love and prayers to a very dear friend who um, passed away recently, and that's Sam Mensa. Mm. You may not know if you're in North London or if you're in the Ghanaian community, you will know um, Uncle John's Bakery. You love the sweet bread the chin oh, yeah. chin, the puff puff, all of that. And mm -hmm. such a young man who passed away. And yes, just wanted to send our condolences. condolences. I was so shocked. I saw his picture up on social media. And do you know what? My initial thought was, oh, he's won an award. Oh, you know, there's yeah. some kind of business yeah. award that um, he's got. And yeah, just to then hear the news is... Yeah, it's a, it's a big shock to all of us. Absolutely. Um, yes, but otherwise it's been a blessed week. We're alive, we are well, and yes, absolutely. How about you, Rachel? Always been a busy bee. Oh, my week has been full of, so a little bit of homeschooling. Oh, yes. Um, <laughs> looking at some funding bids, I've been helping some clients to manage their work and with some project management. I've been doing some research, punctuated by a bit more homeschooling. <laughs> um, I, yeah, um, I've been working on kind of like some of my own projects. We've got some events coming up. And just to, you know, cap it all off, homeschooling. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. So yeah, but it's been a good week. It's been a good week. I've yeah, I've decided to just lay back and be a chill about the whole homeschooling for a bit now. So yeah, 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 yeah. It's been a good week. It's been a good week. And it's that time of the month where we are taken over. Absolutely. Yes. We, we say have... hi to the money mob, Mr. Money Mob. Hi, Mr. Money mob. Hi. hi family. Hi Barbara, hi Paul, how are you hi, both? Fine, how are you doing? We're good, we're really good. <laughs> we're good. I was saying this morning, it is so beautiful to actually be, you know, the, uh, I'm, I'm honoured, I'm just, I'm just, you know, the brother here, <laughs> surrounded by beautiful sisters, <laughs> smiling, oh my God, it's such a, oh, I feel just lovely, lovely. Oh, bless you Paul. <laughs> Barbara, how are you? Oh, I'm doing well. Thank you. Good evening. Good morning. Um, <laughs> lovely to be on here. This is, um, I think it's my third time, isn't it? So mm. it's a lovely, thank you, Chrissy, and thank you, Rachel, for having us on the Money Mob. I'm looking forward to today because right. um, I haven't been around for a while. So yeah, I've been fine. Lots of homeschooling as well on the other end, trying to deliver and rearrange and plan to deliver. So <laughs> I'm on the other end. So it's been great. And um, yeah, I've done two fun things this week. This is one, mm -hmm. and the other was being on Hidden Truth, which is organized by Andrew Mohammed, AKA the investigator, talking about my um, Why Dream travel travel business. So yeah, it's been a great week. I was literally gonna say, which, uh, what, which one of your private islands are you on this morning, Barbara? <laughs> oh, all of them, all of them. All the, like we had a discussion about, you know, is, it, is the Caribbean calling us on this program, the Hidden Roof? And so you had Barbados being represented, Jamaica, Dominique. Mm. And I was like, well, I'm on all of them, but I am from St. Lucia. <laughs> I'd go to any one of them. <laughs> so it was good. The Caribbean is calling us. It's calling, it's calling. So, mm -hmm. Paul, tell us what has been, well, yeah, tell us a bit about the Money Mob for people that haven't heard and tell us what have you guys been up to for the last month? Yeah. Well, anyway, um, again, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Uh, my name is Paul uh, Mohammed, and I am the founder of the crowd purchase, crowd um, funding movement called the Money Mob. Um, the Money Mob is a um, buy black. Uh, uh, crowdfunding, a movement that uses uh, group economics to support black businesses. 
Um, the main claim to fame is the actual Money Mob event itself, where we target businesses, um, usually by referrals. And if um, we visit, we see a businesses um, that would pass our criteria, we then grab up all of our, um, our uh, resources, social media, radio, TV, uh, word of mouth, um, and um, pigeon if need be. And we <laughs> then literally make sure that people know about the business day and time, and that we absolutely um, mob the business every person who comes to mob the business over 10 people 110 people has to spend no less than 10 pounds per person and in that way we uh, we gather momentum we, and we inject cash in the business as well as making sure people are aware because marketing and um, promotion is vital for our business um, that's so right that's um, we have a um, we also support um, um, other work we have a, have a platform um, podcasts, um, a weekly podcast, as well as, you know, being guests, a monthly guests on Colourful with our lovely, lovely host and the business mix, uh, as well as, you know, doing work some, um, with other platforms here and all over the world. That's really basically what it is. I, um, you know, um, I'm very, very, very fortunate to have our, our sister Barbara and a uh, partner um, in in the movement and uh, and uh, you know and we just yeah we just um, do our thing supporting black business wherever they are now um yeah uh, gosh this month has been a, a as per usual a busy, a busy busy month what we usually what we have um uh, uh, in our um in our month is what is called the um um buy black saturday so every weekend um if it's not um black pound day um, we have a Buy Black Saturday, and during that time, we feature businesses that we're, you know, that we're kind of supporting. Especially like now, we're still in this um, lockdown thing, so we can't necessarily go to everyone um, like we would uh, we'd want to. So one of the businesses, um, one of the um, few highlights is um, a business by the name of Evo Supermarket, which is um, located um, in... Uh, in NW7, it's a supermarket, um, black owned, and uh, uh, it is. Uh, I mean, it literally most of our food is um, is usually I mean served there, as well as your local um, shopping. Um, very very important, to have, especially like now, we only have those kind of um, businesses that are now open. Um, important to support those um, businesses, and it, um, and it says if you want to contact them, their um, um, their website address is www evo spell e v o supermart dot com so you can um, get a hold of them and uh and let's just say if you're in the nw7 area or near enough please come down and support and um, the business um that um, particular business and if you're naughty like me jump on a bus and see if you're going to do that <laughs> Um, also, we were blessed to go and um, we also featured a business last month, um, um, the young designer called Sharifa Grant, um, uh, she has a company called U Ushon um, Vanity, um, they sell um, uh, lovely um, jewellery pieces as well as the masks, face masks, what have you. So I think it's really important for you know, this is a young designer, she just came out of, um, out of design school. Um, one of our main features are her masks. She's got, um, also she has like um, jewellery, cowries, um, cowrie earrings and the like. She's showing them and, now. And, Beautiful. Yeah. So um, some beautiful pieces, and you can find her um, on um, on uh, on Instagram. Ushun, spelt um, O S H U N, vanity, all one word, and um, you can find her on um, on Esty. Uh, she sells her stuff. Uh, the other thing that um, the other feature we had was the um, the root farmer. This is a London-based um, uh, uh, farmer. Um, that grows and delivers um, um, vegetable, naturally grown vegetables, uh, uh, organic, and uh, very, very, very serious, brother. It's, uh, it's just lovely to see, like you know, the, 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 the dreadlocks just flying, you know, in, <laughs> in London, you know, growing his stuff and um, doing his thing, and it's really, really, really um, serious as they're growing. I think this is going to be really, really important as we uh, be moving to um, into the future, growing our own, but being able to actually have someone like that. So that's um, that was that, and um, also our um, main brand, Ethnicity Clothes Clothing, mm -hmm. feature brand. Um, they are, and we are one of their um, their um, ambassadors. 
they do um, oh, their signature pieces is the reversible um, trench coat. So literally, uh, one side is has that kind of. Uh, a kente or a particular kind of style and then they have the actual classic trench coat something similar to you know the big brands you know i'm not going to mention those brands because i'm not going to be promoting them but the those big brand kind of um trench coats really really lovely and also um tote bags and um, so if anything please visit them they're on www.ethnicityclothing.com um, so that was really that in regards to our feature. Um, as I said, monthly we usually go and um, um, interview. Um, we had a, uh, had a particular series interview um, view with a brother by the name of Fadi Mohammed, who is a CEO of a visual communications company called um, oh. CIS Group. Now they do, they have what is called immersive technology, mm. which is virtual reality and 360 video and mixed reality all rolling one. We did, um, um, if for some of you uh, may have follow us on, on our Instagram, you would have seen us um, with this kind of free D angled um, uh, thing the last couple of years ago. And he, that's what he does, really serious, serious stuff. So um, as I said, um, fantastic interview. Um, and as I said, if you wanna um, get um, get an idea of what he does, um, um, and one of the features is one of these ocular glasses that you put on and you get like a 3D kind of um, look. So check him out, he's on www.sysgroups.com. So that was really, um, as I said, there's so many things to kind of feature which we haven't got the time to um, to do that. You know what I mean? So that's basically what um, we have um, been kind of doing within the money um, more than what have you. So uh, look, um, moving um, swiftly, I want to, um, I really want to bring on, um, this is the sister that we were blessed to meet um, a couple of years ago at Africa Fashion Week. Um, sister Barbara um, interviewed this young lady um, there. And one of the things that, I mean, really, I, I, we, I, it kind of just took our breath away because she's a, she, um, she's a, um, a jewelry uh, maker, but she did um, an intricate um, chocolate design, put, like necklace, um, string necklace, um, out made out of chocolate. I think it was like a dark chocolate. It was beautiful. And I knew, all right, yeah, this is the lady who has class. This is the lady who knows uh, so, so um, as I said, I want to introduce uh, a, a serious young lady. Her name is Elizabeth. Her company is um, called Aurelian Fine Jewels. And um, and uh, yes, uh, Elizabeth, welcome. Thank you very much for such an esteemed welcome. Thank you very much. And thank you for inviting me to the show. Um, you know, I don't know how I follow that, really. Um, yes, we met. Barbara and Paul have just been really instrumental for my business and I was really pleased to meet you both at Africa Fashion Week and I think because I had just launched literally um, when we met in 2018 so I am the founder and also the jewellery designer behind Aurelian Fine Jewellery. Fantastic, fantastic. So I mean okay um, you are, a, it is a, it is a um, beautiful high-end brand. Um, it is, oh, you've got some beautiful um, um, pieces, beautiful pieces. But obviously, I mean, you know, um, looking at the landscape, um, you know, very, very kind of challenging times, you know, I mean, how you, you know, how's it been going? How you been doing? Yeah, it's been quite challenging, but I think um, online businesses have been sort of going from strength to strength. And I think, um, we've got to be respectful. There's a lot of people that have lost their lives or their loved ones during this pandemic. And I think, um, you know, um, trying to kind of push sort of fine everyday luxury jewellery to sort of the masses during this time hasn't been one of our core philosophies for the past year. So really the past year has just been about um, brand awareness and letting people know that we're here, we're a new brand, female owned, black owned, we support other females as well. So um, my videographers, my photographers that I work with, they're all female, they're all black as well. And so I try to kind of uplift our community. But really this year has been more about letting people know that I'm here and I'm here in the market, um, as opposed to trying to sell because I'm quite conscious of, you know, the, the global pandemic and, and how people are kind of thinking about what they want to buy now and they're reasserting their kind of values and you know, based on what a lot of companies' responses have been to this pandemic. So 
right now it's been more letting people know that we're here and maybe as things progress you know more towards you know this is what we offer and does it entice you would you like to buy indeed 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 now um i know um from um from uh speaking with you and also going through your bio that you're i mean you started off um, you didn't start off as a jeweler. You were the, you know, you uh, was a barrister yeah. in law. I mean, you know. So, what was the inspiration behind you now? You know, moving into something which is a high end, um, uh, you know, uh, occupation and transitioning um, into um, into jewelry. Well, I have to take it back about twenty years, really, because um, I think most children growing up in sort of the Afro-Caribbean community um, can attest to this and most adults as well that parents kind of had the, the particular career path that they wanted their children to sort of follow um, and I've always been creative and I, and I used to make jewellery out of beads, out of paper, um, anything I could find and people always used to ask me oh where did you buy that um, and I'd often make for brides getting married I'd, I'd string beads along I mean that was a trend about 15-20 years ago but of course, my parents wanted me to have a profession um, and a profession that could last and, and I could take it all over the world and that could have some esteem and they could also have some bragging rights. So um, <laughs> I decided to go to law school. Um, you know, I was always the type of young lady that felt that you shouldn't be restricted to one particular area. So the creative side was always there and I was always going to nurture it. But law, I felt, would get me to where I wanted to go at that particular time. So I had a career, went to law school, um, got called to the bar, had a good career, enjoyed it. I mean, if I hadn't had that career, I don't think I'd be where I am today. I met so many wonderful women that have inspired me that um, you don't have to be one thing. You can be many things. Um, mm. And you could be many things to one person as well, you know, to, I'm also a mother, so and my firstborn child, I named the business after him. You know, I'm not only his protector and provider, I'm his teacher, his nurse, etc. So I think in terms of um, your own personal self and your passions, you know, you can be artistic and somebody who likes maths, you know, you know, you can be somebody who likes fixing things, but you also like cooking it. You know, you, you don't have to have that, uh, that straight um, idea of where you want to go in life. And it's, I don't think it's the same as being a wanderer, but it's just knowing that you've got these <laughs> skills and talents and you can use those skills and talents to satisfy your own personal desires. So Indeed. That's where I am today. Okay. Elizabeth, Elizabeth, yes. it was so lovely. I mean, when I first met you, um, at the African Fashion Week, to just what you just said, really, it really was inspiring for me Thank as you. a woman, you know, knowing that you can do, you can have one profession, but then go on and to do other. And you're a, women, you're a woman of my heart, really, because that's what oh, I do. My daughter God. says to me, oh, mom, you're always doing so many different things. And, um, and that's what keeps life interesting and that keeps us challenged. So, you know, I love, just meeting you, your presence and the quality and standard of your work was just so inspiring. I had to stop. I said, Paul, let's stop here and interview you. And that was really inspiring. One of the things I wanted to um, ask was you went into kind of the product, your jewellery and where it comes from and the principles and philosophy behind that. Would you mind sharing it with us? Because that, that's inspiring in itself as well. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so in terms of my jewellery, really, it starts from an inspiration and a story. So I'm inspired by intangible things. So I don't tend to have a photograph or a video clip that I can say, this is what inspired me for that piece. And that story starts from the beginning and the origins. And I, I felt that when I'm buying from brands, I'm quite conscientious and I like to buy from brands, one where... I either know where the goods are coming from. I know that they've got a good sort of life cycle. They are not into sort of modern slavery and the history is good as well. I know mm. many brands, a lot of heritage brands today don't have a very good history. They've got a history and back in slavery and, and many other things that society doesn't um, want to talk about today. Um, even though those people are no longer alive and on the board, but the legacy is still there. And um, I'm also about legacy and sustainability. And even though I'm working with 
products and materials that can have a devastation to any local area because obviously jewelry and gold you mine for those um sorry you mine for diamonds and you mine for gemstones but um I work with the origins I work with the miners who give back to those communities so they don't mm. displace sort of the indigenous people and if those people yeah. do have to move they're rehoused um the they don't work with under 18s so the under 18s mm. don't go down the mines um females of um sort of childbearing ages um are given jobs but they're not given jobs down the mine so companies mm. that have that kind of corporate social responsibility and it's not hard to find them um you pay more which means that you then deliver a product at the end that's slightly higher than maybe some others but you can go to sleep at night and I can sleep at night knowing that I'm working with companies and suppliers who have that same ethics that I do and and that means more than getting you know, products on sort of the black market or mm. getting products on from where I don't know the origin and, and the diamonds could have sort of the, the conflict um, behind it and I wouldn't know, but I know that I got it at a good price. And I can t show my buyers um, from origin right through to market, you know, where their product has been in that cycle. And I think people like to know that, um, especially people that are conscientious of where they spend their money and how mm. they spend their money. Mm, lovely, I think that's such a wonderful thing that you're, the philosophy and the morals behind supporting the community and thinking of their welfare and their being. So what do you, um, what is your plans for kind of 2012 and 2000, uh, 2021 and beyond, do you think? Well, um, I said earlier, um, the last past year has really been on just letting everybody know that we exist and that we're here and sort of building the brand name and letting people know what I do and the fact that I make everything and I design. Um, it's really letting people know that we're here, building upon that, um, making sales and moving on globally as well and, and having beautiful people like yourself wearing my pieces. <laughs> so. oh, thank you so much. Thank you. So um, I wanted to ask you, I mean, for someone who is aspiring, they're, you know, they are maybe looking into and maybe going into um, the jewellery, um, mm. you know, as well as maybe moving into the fine jewellery area. I mean, what were the tips that you would actually give for someone who may be looking into going into that area? Okay, I think there's, um, that's a really good question. And there's two ways to go about it. I can talk about my way, which is I'm self-taught. I didn't go to jewellery school. I went to law school. But um, that self-taught, I still learned from people that had been to mm. jewellery school and that did have that knowledge. So I taught myself from reading books. I already had that artistic background, so I could draw already. Um, I started small, so I started learning with wax and then I moved on to silver. And then once I'd mastered silver, I then went on to gold and I then sought out some jewelers and said, look, hey, you know, a bit like an apprenticeship, you know, I can come here every Saturday. I have a Saturday job. I worked with my auntie down East Street Market um, many years ago. Um, so this process has been uh, 10 years in the making because it's been 10 years, eight years of learning my craft and two years of the business um, since I incorporated. So I learned that skill because I was self-taught. It took me a long time, but I think if someone's starting out now and they know that they want to be a jewellery designer, then I would advise them maybe to go to jewellery school. There's quite a few in London. There's also online jewellery schools that they can attend and then they can attend anyone. Um, I mean, there's some very good ones in Turkey, in the US as well, so they can attend online and, and just learn their skill and really identify early on what type of jewellery, what their eclectic, um, look is about their dna and so that they can carry that through and not try to be like anybody else um, and sometimes that takes time uh, but i think if someone's starting out now just start look whether if you've got a design background already you may not need to do a formal type of education and you can self-teach and then you can just look for somebody who's already there um, it's i think with the jury community they're very helpful but it's very hard to find someone that will teach you the skills that they have um, you often have to um, know somebody or pursue somebody or really try and give them, offer them something. You know, they can 
test out maybe they want to start workshops and then they want to just test out how they would be with a pupil I mean it's give and take you know so just start you know now's the perfect time a lot of people have some downtime and mm. not going anywhere you're not really seeing family and friends apart from maybe connecting like this via zoom so now is the perfect time I mean you know I'd advise those who are on furlough in a job that they weren't quite happy about and they could go back to that job with a whole new set of skills, a whole new outlook on life. And, and then when the market and the economy picks up, they can move into something that they've always wanted to do. So that's the advice I'd give. Okay, fantastic. And um, so look, um, I, you've got some, so you've got a beautiful um, piece there. So Is that the Azure, um, the Azure piece? That's the Azure piece. This oh is a bespoke God. piece here. My lover's piece, because Valentine's is coming up. So that piece there. Oh, lovely, fantastic, fantastic. And that kind of, as I said, we're now moving into February and, yes. and that the, the quote unquote lovers um, kind lovers, of time. I yes. mean, where, you know, where can actually people, um, you know, get a hold of you? What's your contact details? You know, how can people kind of get a, a nice piece? You've got some beautiful pieces online. I know you've got an Africa collection as yes. well as other pieces. I'll say, as I said, the one that I love, um, the Azor piece. Where can we get a hold of you? Where Thank we you. Well, you can get a hold of me on via Instagram. Instagram at Aurelian, so that's spelled A U R E L I E A N, fine, or at the website, which is www.aurelian, A U R E L I E A N.com. Or you can send me an email at info at Aurelian.com. And it will be myself that will be responding. Oh, fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Okay, so um, Elizabeth. Uh, we're we're literally now at the um at the end of um, oh, this interview. So um, I have to end by um, asking you the um, money question, and the money more question is this, Elizabeth. Yes. If you were given one wish in regards to the black community, what would that one wish be? Right. I think it would be in terms of business just support the black businesses mm. and you can support those black businesses in many different ways it doesn't have to be monetary um you may not those products may not resonate with you um or they may be products that are out of your price range or something that you cannot use in your everyday life but you can support by letting other people know um by forwarding you know, if you're on Instagram, you can forward their Instagram, their stories, you can share, you can shout out. And you can also, if you are, if you do have the means and you do buy into that particular product, you can support. And what I find within our community is someone will have a friend that started a shoe brand, for example. And, you know, we all wear shoes, um, but they may not support her but they may go and buy from a very large brand, you know, because that large brand has the history. You know, we all start from somewhere, you know, and I think you should support. And if you find down the line, you don't get good customer service or the product is not to your expectation, don't initially discount that company. They're learning, yeah. they're progressing. Well done. <laughs> good Give message. them a chance to rectify. Contact them in private, you know, let them know this is, the issue that you have and try and resolve it because everybody didn't start off being number one you know that's right everybody walked a path and, and took time so I think the one wish would be just try try and buy back black first because that's what I do you know um you know I'm rarely you know I know how hard it is to earn money and to keep money as well and so mm. when I'm purchasing things I look for black brands and I'm quite um I do prefer black female brands <laughs> because I think us females, we um, we need a lot of empowerment and not lifting in sort of the business areas. We're less likely to get loans from the bank, less likely to be, you know, male businesses. If it's a new idea, for example, um, you know, the banks will say, yeah, OK. But if it's a female going into the business, they'll say you haven't got experience in this or you haven't done mm. a master's in this or go right. and rewrite your business plan. And it's... Um, or is your husband supporting you or a partner supporting you? And if there isn't, then there's, they're less likely to either get offered or even um, given the same amount. So try and support black female 
brands as well because you're supporting a whole community um you're supporting families you're supporting you're you're creating legacies for them and and try and support you know your support as i mentioned you know saying oh i heard of this company have you heard oh you're looking for jewelry have you tried this brand have you checked them out you know word of mouth is um the best marketing that you can have you know so that's, that's the right. one thing i would give to our communities to try us first before you try anywhere else because if you try us you know as they say once you go back you never go back and that's the truth you know um but everything i do it's it's very rare that i don't use a black company or um professional so okay thank you thank you thank you thank you excellent so, i love that so so wonderful and as i said you know um a really um in, as as uh, as uh, a word it, um, is one of the um our guest sponsor who sponsored the particular show but you know so uh, my sister's putting her money where her mouth is so thank you so much um my sister again it's been a pleasure always a pleasure talking to you thank you know you. anyway can i ask thank a you. quick question yes. elizabeth Please do. Please, for our listeners, for those who aren't watching, um, kind of like on the, the the replay and watching the video, can you just describe the piece that you're wearing, that your necklace that you're wearing? Give the listeners a bit of a, a idea of of what we were like all gasping at when you first <laughs> Thank came you. onto our screen, um, and where they can um, where they can see it. You know, where they can see yeah. it. Well, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Rachel. Um, this piece on my neck is um, it's called the Azure of the Sea because it's a bit like where Barbara is right now. It just reminds you of somewhere oh, tropical wish. and <laughs> vibrant. And the pearls are South Sea pearls, so off the coast of Australia. That's where they come from. The sapphires come from Nigeria. Um, the diamonds come from Botswana. And it's really um, a piece that can take you back to sort of old school glamour and and just enjoy. And I think it's an everyday piece. I mean, thank you for the wows and I really appreciate that, you know, but you can wear it during the day, you can wear it at night, um, you can wear it with jeans. And I think pearls look great um, yeah. on anybody, on any skin tone, on, you know, and, and that's why I wanted to create this piece. And it reminded me of the core waves sort of crashing and, and holidays past that, you just can't forget um yeah that's what I can gorgeous. see just like it, i'm getting like um we just vibes dynasty obviously. vibes dynasty vibes oh, yeah. like oh know. yes with the, the you know, they were that. they were they were opulent 24 7 like you said it did not matter whether they were just matter. going to the shop going for a meeting they were dressed and i love it yeah it looks yeah. beautiful really thank beautiful you so you. much thank, yeah. you. thank you really yeah. appreciate that, that. Thank the you. website is lovely i checked thank it you. out i the the Earrings drew me oh, yeah. the new gold diamonds earrings. Thank Good. you. Thank one day, you. one day. Choose Christ, Christine, Christine is one that wears. She wears odd earrings. She's like my mum. She's the only two people in the world I know that will buy a pair of earrings, but only wear one and then match it with. I say yeah. match because they don't match, but you know, coordinate yes. it. And that's so beautiful. I, and that's why a lot of jewellery designers are now selling them singly because yeah. people like Chrissy, they have their own vibe and their own and then you know, don't not everyone um, wants to wear the same. And also some people only have one piercing, which I've mm. noticed as well. Mm. So they end up buying a pair but only ever use one or have one as a spare. So yeah. <laughs> so whenever I whenever I've lost an earring, I'd always say to Chris, do you want that? <laughs> I'm John Earring. <laughs> but no, it's been great. I mean, been fantastic. Um, right, right. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you. Okay. Really appreciate it. So, thank Paul, you what's so much. Back next, next month, have you got and what's coming? Yeah, what's, yeah. what's going on? Well, look, I mean, uh, next month for us is uh, we're, we're going to be going forward with um, some uh, a membership um, um, scheme. Uh, and also really kind of pushing um, the money mob um, in regards to our services. Um, so, you know, we um, work with companies who want to uh, improve on their, um, their social media, um, administration, um, they, they want help in regards to events and event planning, and that these are the kind of things that we actually can do. But also what we were looking to do as well is uh, create a, 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 
a membership scheme that now people who really, really want to be a part of the Money Mob movement that click can now help us to now um, uh, push things forward. We've got some very exciting things that are, um, are looking that we're looking to kind of do um, in the future, books, documentaries, that, those kind of things, but really, really now power our way towards um, putting, um, you know, black businesses, um, you know, um, on a ne next kind of level. And I think, as I said, we're going to really have to work collectively and have the engines like a money mob to actually be doing that. So those are the kind of things that we're really going to be um, going to be um, shift moving with going into the future. We're working again with our, um, our platform, our, our partners um, in France, so if you want, you know, if you have a business and you want to now share your business um, to a wider audience, go, you know, you need to um, contact us um, and via um, our email address, Lubinwa, um, spell, um, and it's money mob or M mob at Lubinwa, uh, spelled lobby, um, L O B B W A N O I R dot com, and you will be able to kind of get you, um, you know, um, you know, through the through that. We're also looking at our workshops during um during um the time now kind of planning um, workshops and master classes and um and also uh, we may be able to I think we've got a, we got a um I think we've pinned down a um a uh, a podcast with you lovely ladies Christy and Miss Rachel I think for February I'm I'm, I'm certain I've kind of I've, I've kind of got something down in the diary for you two. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's in, it's there, it's marked, it's in the calendar, it's in the, the diary. Pool. We have it also, you know, not being biased or anything, but it's the best month next month, Paul, indeed, right? Indeed, 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 indeed. It's, it's our indeed, month. Indeed. <laughs> February born, <laughs> February born. Yeah, this is our month, that's right. <laughs> so yes, so hopefully, yes, we'll be kind of celebrating, uh, well, quietly this time, but we will be celebrating anyway. Yeah. yeah, fantastic. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, Money Mob. Yay. Thank you. Can't wait thank till next you. week. Hello. I mean, next month for the next, <laughs> for the next takeover. Um, thank you, also, and be, Rachel. you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you very thank much. Thank you, guys. Um, lastly, before I go, I do need to mention, I was talking, I said, you know, working on a few events um from chef with love which is taking place on the day of love supposedly um sunday the 14th of february and it's actually going to be a uh cooker cook along and dine along event <laughs> with the uh, michelin trained uh chef uh, uh anthony cumberbatch um so he's repping he's repping barbados um most of his um courses go very nicely with Mount Gay rum I must say other rums are available though I have to say that <laughs> um but yes yeah, so that will be a kind of book your ticket you get your ingredients delivered live on the night chef will wow. be kind of Amazing. going through with you step by step how to create a five star uh uh two courses you get your dessert delivered already done for you two wow. course luxury meal so for those who maybe can't be with the one their loved one on valentine's day um for those who want to cook along with their friends couples singles it really doesn't matter so learn the secrets of perfect plating and exquisite cooking and you can get your tickets from www.blackmaven.co.uk so that's the color black and then m-a-v-e-n .co.uk. The menu looks beautiful. I can't wait. Sorry, M A V A N. The menu, the menu looks amazing. So get your ticket now, guys. Rachel, right. another week. Chris, another week. And now another week's gone. I forgot to talk about we had a photo shoot last week, but I'm not going to say anything about that. When the pictures come out. We'll be like, yeah, we had a lovely photo shoot last week. Um, so yeah, I'm nothing as exciting as photo shoots taking place this week, but um looking forward to getting back in the sh virtual studio with you with our guest next week. Yes. Thanks, Rachel. No worries. Thanks, Chris. Have a bye, great bye, week. Bye, 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 bye. Thank you very much for having me. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. 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 Bye.